Let's find out what's on the other side of the universe. We need to keep upgrading our rocket until we get there. We're gonna have to sacrifice a few astronauts along the way. The further I go, the more money I get for more upgrades, and we find these treasures along the way that we upgrade into better parts. We use better parts to go even further into the sky, steering our ship into the floating treasure. The higher we go, the longer the astronauts get to live for. And in that treasure box, we got a fuel tank, so we can go ahead and slap that on. Now we have extra fuel to go further. We can also just buy more random assorted parts. We got two nose cones there, so if we have a level 2 nose cone, we can slap up top. That's presumably going to help us go a little bit further for even more money, for even more upgrades, and you get the idea. We're going to find new planets. Oh, we're only 200 meters away from something new. Okay, we hit that. We've already made it to the moon. And on the way, we picked up another treasure crate, so that gave us more nose cones, so we can combine into a level 2 nose cone, therefore into a level 3 nose cone. This one's got extra stripes on it, so you know it's good. Modules are more expensive, though, but our next rocket's only $6,400, so we're going to keep saving for that while trying to reach the meatball in the sky. That time it went a lot higher, though. We've gotten $1,200 in that single run, and we hit new heights. And out of that, we got an extra fuel tank and an extra thruster, none of which I think we can utilize yet. So let's find out why there's treasure to either side. It doesn't seem like a good idea to steer tr uh, rockets sideways, but you never know what we're going to find out here. And we all know astronauts are completely disposable anyway. There's a level 2 fuel tank that we can combine with our existing level 2 fuel tank for level 3. So we're going to the moon. We're going from the moon to the next planet. I assume that's a long ways away. We're coming up on our high score already, and I think we went past it. $1,500 for a single run. We got some new thruster pieces, so that's my favorite part. We have a level 3 thruster. So let's point this one straight up into the air and see what we find. The next part is another 200 meters away. Wow, we're really going high. High fuel consumption. Yeah, no kidding. There's one over there that we just cruised past. How heartbreaking. $1,900 though, 1,669 meters. Look, we have exactly enough money we need for the next rocket. Perfect. Okay, looks like this one has two thrusters available, so we can put one there. Now we have double thrusters. I just realized I'm actually supposed to control like the temperature so I can actually use this as boost and if it gets too hot I need to let off a little bit. I think that's probably the most efficient way of doing it, though I'm not entirely sure yet. Our high score has been broken, we found a new planet. Uneven thrusters in all. Okay, I don't know what planet we're on, the next one is Venus. Oh, we can actually see them. We started on Earth, we hit the moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, we're kind of going in a strange order but we're not going to ask any questions, we're headed for planets that don't exist. And we can spend stars to unlock a facility. Uh, I'm not really sure what that does, so we'll go ahead and take one. It produces us di diamonds. Oh, I can afford a bunch more modules though, so we'll uh, combine a bunch of new stuff together. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Because my two level 3s can combine into a level 4 nose cone. Ooh, there's something, a star to the right. What do you think that is? Can we hit it? Oh, I forgot about the heat thing already. Okay, stars collected. Oh, it's stars. I don't want stars, I want rocket parts. Then again, I can use my diamonds to increase things like my income, so I'm all for that. Well, let's give it another launch. I want to head for the VIP ticket, though, because uh, that sounds like it's probably important. Gonna stop overheating my rocket now. I'm not sure where we're driving anymore, so we're just going straight up. 2,000 meters. Okay, the VIP is something I can... Uh, oh, I get to pick what I get. Okay, I want 54 gems. Because then I can make my booster apparently a lot stronger. We're just going to fill that out, and we get 1.25% boost. Okay, we'll do the same for the fuel tank. I'm sure that will make some kind of difference, which just means more money with more rocket power back into the sky. I'm mostly just going to head for whatever's straight above me, trying not to overheat this thing too much. Uh, I don't know if it's efficient to collect parts or money. Either way, we're going to go through a lot of astronauts today. 2,000 meters, we got to beat that. And the parts there, we got a better uh, thruster on our left side, so we have more thrust. We'll buy some more modules right now, just to see what we can turn that into. That's definitely going to be an improvement on a few different things. Because we can turn a level 3 fuel tank into a level 4, that's a big purple thing. We're going to have a level 3 thruster here, which is, can go on either side. So we have a level 4 thruster at level 3. That should do some wonders for us. We can use our boost. Ooh, it's a yellow and purple flame. This should definitely take us to new heights pretty easily. Uh, yeah, we're already at almost 3,000 meters, so we're 50% further already. Uh, yep, we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna crash right through the next planet. We doubled our height, 4,200 meters. I bet you didn't know the planets are only 4 kilometers apart. I noticed the level 2 rocket has two thrusters though, so I wonder if we keep upgrading if we get more thrusters. Oh, I should probably go for the VIP ticket on this one, because then I get to pick my part, and maybe it's a better part. Level 1 parts are fine and all, but, um, I maybe want some better stuff. So we'll steer ourselves over to this one. We're starting to stay in the air for a long time, and that's getting very time consuming. But the VIP package gave me everything you see here. Let's take some gems. So we can increase income for only 320, or our module's base level up by one. We would like that. So we're going to use some of these stars to invest, probably on all of our planets if we can. Okay, we're not allowed to, so I'm just going to put all of these into this thing for now. We'll find more later. 
So we're mining 0.12 per second. That'll be fine because we just have to blast off into space again and again to make money. It's really that easy. This one might be a record or we might have landed on the next planet again. Didn't realize I saw back to the previous planet, so we're just going to do that again on the right planet. I see now on the right side there's a fuel burn thing. Using boost adds like 10-20% extra fuel, but it makes us go a lot faster. We probably don't really have to use that, but then what am I going to do while we wait? And I think we hit a new planet already. We might have just seen the new planet actually. We need to go 5600 meters to get there, so we were close. Okay, we can combine these together into a level 3 thruster, which we can find there. Now we have two level 4s. Straight to the moon we go. We're going to be going so much quicker now. We're up to uh, 76 meters per second. There's a treasure box 600 meters above me. Did we make it? Oh, we made it to the next planet officially. Luckily, we have those reusable rockets. New merge level achieved. Auto merging. 4 to 5. Great. Okay, Mars is the next planet. It's 11,400 up there, but we have enough for the next rocket. And this one's purple. And we have a level 5 thruster, just a single one for some reason. So we need to buy a few modules to hopefully get at least one other thruster to balance it out. And then we're going straight for the VIP ticket if the rocket would ever turn. Uh, okay, it's not a great handler. Wait, I think we got it. I don't know why those grab my attention so much, but I do like the VIP. These rewards are so uneven. Like, that's not a lot of money. That's a very basic item. 178 gems is easy. Now I can increase my income by quite a bit. It would be nice to save up for the base modules, but we'll get there. Okay, we're gonna go straight up on this one. I think the rocket handles poorly because my thrusters are really uneven, so it tends to knock me one way or the other. Or I might just be really bad at driving rockets. The mysteries are endless. We're gonna try and save up a few dollars before buying more boxes. Well, $72,000 should buy us a few new things. I thought there was an auto merge feature. Why are things not auto merging on my behalf? I guess I probably could have also put a new one in here a while ago. So we'll take the level 2 off and put the level 3 on. Only the finest attention to detail on this channel, that's for sure. There are only 8 spaces though, so I might actually only be able to give you certain parts at some point. Otherwise you would get stuck. We can try and exploit that later. For now, we're using our extra power to go into the sky. Nah, we definitely got a gift box there and we're going ever higher. We're at 6,500 meters. A few astronaut sacrifices later and I get a rocket for 108,000. This one's got three engines on it. And I'm really liking this trend. The higher level the rocket, the more engines it gets. With our leftover money, which isn't going to go very far, we'll buy a few more parts to hopefully get us closer to a new something. Well, there's nothing we can strap onto the rocket yet, but we do now have a giant rocket with three pieces on it, so it's going to go further faster. We're actually up to 112 meters per second. We're actually almost like twice as fast as we just were, so we're going to go way higher. We made it as high as a gift box, we're not quite at the next planet. And after that launch, I think I've got enough for a new fuel thing, and that's going to make a big difference. Level 5 fuel canister. We obviously burned a lot of fuel on the way to the next planet, and this one might take us all the way there. We are burning 0.25 liters per second, which is also a new record for us, but with the speed we're going, it's worth it. I think we're into uncharted territories, we're that much closer to the next planet. Then we're going to swap out my level 1 for a level 2 thruster that I forgot about, and oh, it shows your initial trajectory, that's what that line was showing me at the beginning. I thought it was leading me to treasure, but it was just saying where my lopsided rocket's going to go if I leave it to its own devices. That time we did get 8,500 meters. We have quickly saved up $215,000, so I think we're overdue to buy some modules so we can start putting stuff together. Already we can make a level 3 engine, and we've still got some money to spend. We just got a bunch more engines, so two level 3s can turn into another level 4. The nose cones are gonna have to wait. Uh, not for very long though, because there's a level 4 nose cone, which can combine with our existing level 5 nose cone. That did cost basically all of our money, but now we have a much, much better rocket. We're going 120 meters per second, and we're only burning 0.21 liters per second. So we're going faster, even more efficiently. So that means we might actually make it. We're 1400 meters away from the next planet. So it's hopefully just a few hundred thousand more dollars to be able to reach the next planet. But we're making well over $20,000 per flight, so it's not that bad. Plus I forgot about my jumps which have been adding up, so let's get extra booster power. Then I have over a thousand stars, which I didn't realize, so we're going to invest on this planet, and that's going to put our earnings way up. We're at half a crystal per second. I did just get a VIP package with 1300 crystals though. Then it's back to the grind, straight into space. I thought our boosters would have more speed after what we just picked up, but apparently not. We're still going 120 meters a second. Still good enough for 26,000 per run. Do we think $250,000 is enough to buy the upgrades we need? It's giving us a lot of thrusters. Well, that can already make a level 4, which could be combined there. So we have two level 5 thrusters, and I'm pretty sure those are insane by themselves. Now we got two orange and one purple, and we're going to go way higher. I realize in hindsight, I probably should have combined my two best thrusters into an even better one, but we'll figure it out on the next run. We did get a new high score, and we did make it to the next planet. 
Oh, it auto merged into a level 6 at this point anyway, so I guess it puts the parts on the rocket together that it can put together. Well, we'll slap a level 3 rocket on there just to supplement our thing. Now we got more power than ever before. There is a VIP to the right, but I want to see how high we can go. Plus, I'm pretty sure I can get multiple treasure boxes up this way anyway, so we're all the better for it. We're already over 10,000 meters, and we hardly even tried. 10,300 worth 30,000. And you know what? We already have enough for a new rocket, 240,000. It has the same amount of slots as our last one, but it has way better stats overall. Everything is much better again. So let's launch this into the sky, but I want the VIP on this one. I want some more gems. Pretty sure, uh, even with going this side, we're still gonna break a new record. Not sure if we did, but we're collecting a lot of parts. Yeah, it was actually really close considering we went sideways. The VIP gave me another 1800 gems. I see another VIP ticket, so that's gonna be more gems. Another 1800. This will help out a lot. Now our base modules are level 2. So now it's much more worth the investment because that's gonna uh, rule out a lot of combining. And already with that, we have a level 4 booster on this side now. That's already so much better, it's almost a joke. We also just spent like hundreds of thousands of dollars on upgrades. I've also just acquired another level 3 fuel tank, which turns into level 4, which turns into level 5, which combines with our existing to a level 6 fuel tank. Now we're gonna go even further. We're going 140 meters per second now, and we're only burning 0.21 liters per second to do it. So we're already into new record territory. We're gonna miss that thing because I just don't care. I want to go higher. 14,000 meters worth $38,000. A few rents later, $380,000. I'm gonna sell my level 1 parts because I realized we're never gonna have any more level 1 parts. It's level 2 or higher, so those gotta go. We already have a level 4 uh, nose cone again, which is a big one. Uh, there's a level 4 thruster, which we can't even... Uh, we can use at this point. Now we have a level 5, level 6, level 4. We'll make it the next planet. It's only 17,000 meters up there. You just gotta try and keep this thing moving mostly straight. Picking up the modules can help along the way, but the straighter it goes, the more efficient we're going upwards. 4,500 meters to go. We broke a new record thanks to the extra thruster 3,300 meters further. We did go 15,000, which is still pretty good. Here's another level 4. It's gonna go to a level 5 thruster, so we got two 5s and one 6. We should actually combine these so we have two 6s. Now we just gotta hope for a new thruster, so we'll have to settle for a level 2 on one side. Then it tries to make us go sideways very quickly because we're way overpowered to one side. Not sure if that matters, I could balance that out, but I don't care. I'm going upwards. So we're at 142 meters per second, and hopefully that's gonna be enough to get us there. We're also doing it very efficiently. We're only 3,000 meters away now. There's 2,000 meters, 1,800. We're so close. Okay, we did get another thruster on that, so we'll combine them. We'll buy a few more modules, uh, none of which are thrusters. But we do have a level 5 nose cone, so we get a level 6 nose cone out of that. Also, we'll maybe swap these two around. That way we have even thrust upwards. Oh, there's a VIP ticket, so we're going to grab that real quick too. Okay, we got the VIP box, so we're basically just going to head towards this next one now. I doubt we're going to make it to the next planet, but we're going to get some parts. And let's face it, you're not here for raw efficiency. V v VIP gave us 3400 gems. I also forgot to unlock a facility on the last planet we were on. Should have done that a while ago because now we're making 2.5 gems a second. After a few small investments, that's actually going to go up to about 3.75. Probably should have upgraded this stuff a while ago because we just increased our earnings by a large amount and we can also do our booster, our fuel tank, our heat shield. Everything can get better really cheaply. So we'll maybe do all three of these. Booster, fuel tank, and heat shield are all going to be a lot more efficient. So now when we launch our fantastic rocket into space, we're going to make a lot more money and go a little bit further. Well, we're up to about 145 meters per second and that's actually going to add up because every second we're getting further ahead. We got 1,500 meters to go to get to the next planet, but at our base we made $96,000. So let's spend $866,000 on new parts and we're getting a lot of thrusters. This I find completely acceptable because there's another level 5 that we're going to go ahead and put there. <laughs> then even more thrusters, the game's trying to tell us something. And they will combine those and then we have 3 level 6 thrusters. Pretty sure this is going to take us to the next planet. We're going 148 meters a second now, and we're doing it at only 0.13 liters per second burn. So we're probably going to run like straight into the planet and go straight through it at this rate, because we're burning no fuel to do this. There's a pass, there's already a record, and there's our new planet. That also auto-increased our uh, thruster up to level 7 in the middle. And we're definitely putting a facility here, because now we're making 15 gems per second. And every time I spend some of my hundred stars here, that number goes up. There's 20 gems per second, once you can get up to 25 per second, then every 4 seconds, there's a hundred more gems. Plus, we're also going to buy this new rocket that's uh, much bigger than before. I think it's got room for four thrusters. Four slots it is. Look at those stats. So we're, we'll spend our remaining few dollars adding just one little thruster here. 
And then we're going straight into the sky. We need to get four giant thrusters on this thing. VIP box collected. We're going 170 meters per second. Our fuel burn isn't super great right now, but we'll fix that soon. 18,000 meters without even trying. The VIP gave me more gems. I'm going to turn those gems into uh, more earnings. So every run now, we're going to get even more money. Last run was 100 grand. This one, 135. And that kind of money turns into a lot of very quick upgrades. I think we can already put a level 4 module over there. That should increase our speed a little bit while also knocking down our fuel burn. We got four pretty good engines sitting on this thing. We did break a new high score on this one. We're up to 19,455. Parts are getting expensive, but we're also making gems so quickly we can upgrade these things quickly, so now we're going to have even more earnings. And we are really just here to get rich. The richer we are, the more rocket we get. I did forget one of my thrusters is only level 2 though, so we might as well give that some help. We can take it all the way up to level 4, so now we got 4, 4, 6, 7. The extra thrust helped us get to 20,000 meters with 165 grand. That gave us 7,500 gems, so we're just going to increase our earnings again. And then I guess we can increase our booster, fuel tank, and heat shield a little bit more. And we'll see how far into this guy that takes us. Grand total of 20,300. There's another level 4 thruster. I guess I could have actually put those two together too, but that's too late now. But every thruster upgrade really does help a lot, because now we're going 180 meters per second and only burning 0.25 liters per second. That's with four engines. I do like how they're all mismatching too. They even have different colors. That actually made a really big difference. 21,388 meters for 200 grand. And here's a big upgrade. Two level 6 fuel tanks make a level 7. So I bet that's going to let us go a lot farther. Our burn is still uh, 0.26 liters per second, but we got that much bigger of a fuel tank. It is, however, another 13,000 meters to go to get to that planet. We definitely broke a new record, but we still got another 7,500 to go. I saved up $2.24 million. It's hopefully going to get us a little bit closer to where we need to go, but upgrades are getting stupidly expensive. Though I think I can make a new nose cone now. Those combine to level 6. These two combine into level 7. Now the game's going to give us lots of thrusters because that's logically the next thing to upgrade. These two fours make a five, these two fives will make a six. And that nose cone should probably make us go a little bit quicker. We're up to 182 meters a second, only 0.24 liters per second burn. That was a new record, 28,365. Every upgrade makes such a big difference. So our fuel is down to 0.22 liters per second, so that's gonna be much more efficient. We're only 6,000 meters away now. We got to about 4,800 more meters to go, so we need to get to 35,000. Okay, level 7, level 7, level 6, level 5. This is gotta do it. We put so many millions of dollars into this. The fuel burn is all the way down to 0.2 liters per second, so that will probably actually do it. We still have 10,000 meters to go though, but I think we're gonna do it. Down to the final 4,000. Oh, we might not make it. 2,800 away. I realize there's a fairly easy solution to solving this little problem. Because once we get close, we can get an extra 20% fuel for free. And that was enough to get us there. And that's unlocked us our next rocket for over a million dollars. So we'll let this run for a little while and see what we can come up with next time. But look at that red jet. 210 meters per second for eternity. 